If you take a look at the strings on your guitar, you'll notice that they all have different thicknesses, with the top strings being the thinnest and the bottom strings being the thickest. This is all guitar string gauge is. It's the measurement of a string's thickness. In most cases, it's expressed as one one thousandth of an inch. For example, this string is a gauge 9 string, which means it measures 0.009 inches thick. I'll cover the basics of string gauge here, but I've got a complete guide to string gauge on my website, which I've linked in the description below. Thicker strings are most often called heavier gauge strings, and thinner strings are called lighter gauge strings. If you take a look at a pack of guitar strings, you'll see the string gauges somewhere on the front to give you a sense of the strings that you're buying and how they'll feel to play. The biggest impact that string gauge has is on string tension. This has a huge impact on how your guitar feels and sounds. A set of lighter gauge strings will feel easier to play, as there's less resistance from the string when fretting the notes or bending. This makes them perfect for beginners who are just getting started. They also sound brighter than heavier gauge strings. The downside is that they're not great for drop tuning, as they don't have enough tension to hold the lower notes. Heavier gauge strings are great for drop tuning, as the higher string tension keeps the string tight at the lower tunings. They sound warmer and more powerful than light gauge strings, which makes them perfect for rock, metal and jazz, but they're more difficult to work with, requiring more effort from your hands to play. Check out my article in the description for more information on guitar string gauges.